Hello and welcome back to another ICS prayer video. We've actually changed things up a little bit and instead of just you hearing from Richard and I, we've actually got an interview with Hayley who is the chaplain at the Falkland Islands. This is really fun to get to chat to Hayley since so we're going to head over to see what she has to share now. Hayley, thank you for taking the time to join us, to be with us for this prayer video. It's great to have an opportunity to talk with you. It's great to be online and actually have a connection to everyone else around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Hayley, you are fairly new in your position. So what have been your first impressions? It's incredible. I arrived in Stanley, so from Stratton to Stanley on May the 1st. The Falkland Islands are an archipelago um, in the South Atlantic. And for many people, they wouldn't know the, where the Falklands are if it hadn't been for the war in 1982. I came down here in winter. So as everyone else around the world might have been getting ready for summer in May, I was getting ready for winter and our memorial season. So it was a little bit of a shock um, to come down to somewhere that can be very cold and very windy. But my first impressions have been exceeded. The people here are open and welcoming and generous. Um, they have welcome me with open arms. I have seen wildlife beyond imagination. This morning, um, walking back from the cathedral for morning prayer, we saw Conison dolphins uh, playing in the harbour. I, if that's not joy and creation right on your doorstep, I'm not sure what is. To go down to the beach um, in the evenings to see the penguins come in, and we have five kinds of penguins here on the Falkland <laughs> Islands, um, is again amazing to be amongst so much creation just right here, and to sit and be part of it and help uh, conserve it for future generations um, is a true blessing. Fantastic. Now, Hayley, I feel I know you quite well. We talk regularly like this. Um, so you're always very positive. So this is probably a hard question, but what have been the challenges? The, the biggest challenge for me is not getting lost in a straight line. Um, the <laughs> valley itself is actually quite small. It's probably a couple of miles in length and six roads back. I'm very blessed. I live on what they call the front road, so I can see the harbour from my office window. And sometimes, as you well know, Richard, I get very distracted <laughs> as something is happening outside my house. Um, but very often the buildings all look the same. We have uh, white wooden uh, fascias. Um, they're all very similar in length. And people wonderfully just assume I know where I'm going. And so they'll say, yes, we'll see you here at 10 o'clock. And I have to go, where are we meeting? And what is a landmark that I can look for? And like, oh, it's fine, it's the white building. Oh Every building predominantly is white. Um, so I've got known um, for two things. One, which is getting lost in a straight line. The second one is I have a question. And so very often I'm, I have a wonderful curiosity, I think, um, but it does mean uh, that I ask people lots of questions. Where can I find this? How do we do that? What is this? Why is it here? Um, but it sparked so many amazing conversations, both pastorally and spiritually. People might not, as you know, come to church every Sunday, but faith is absolutely yeah. in the psyche of this, this nation, this great nation. So, yeah, my biggest challenge is not, not getting lost. <laughs> okay, so that's the challenges. What have you found to be joyful? Oh, everything. Waking up in the morning and realising I'm here. I walk down, I open up the cathedral, I say morning prayer, and I thank God for everything you know, for seeing me safely through the night, for the encounters that I will have each and every day. Here there are beaches, there are penguins, there are seals, there are sea lions. You know, wildlife, that flora and fauna that we do so much, as I've already mentioned, to respect and coexist with while trying to minimise our impact on the islands and God's creation. Yeah. But perhaps my biggest joy is actually the people. The people who are resilient, they're tough, 
It's not easy living here. Uh, predominantly, our uh, industries are sheep farming and fisheries. They're both very, very uh, hard um, uh, industries to work in. Um, and life expectancy here can be quite short. Um, although I have to say, uh, the wonderful people that I have um, had the opportunity to celebrate their life through Thanksgiving, um, most of them being in their 80s and 90s. And the great thing is some of the stories that you hear um, about our native kelpers and the lives that they have, getting on a, borrowing a horse and getting on a horse for a two day ride so they can go to a party. Um, you know, we wouldn't even think of that um, in the 21st century, but that was quite, quite real even a few years ago. So much joy amongst the people here. So this is a prayer video and, and there's a whole family of people that pray for us. How can we be praying for you, Hayley? I think for the resilience of the people here, um, that our great uh, island nation uh, continues to coexist with the wildlife, um, that we do continue to do our best to respect it and look after God's creation down here but also from a very practical, pragmatic um, perspective that people visit our islands and uh, that they enjoy them as much as we do, but more for the people who are here 24 seven, seven days a week, you know, 365 days a year, that they are nurtured and cared for and prayed for, um, that we see God in everything uh, they do, who they are, and I think um, most importantly that we continue to be able to grow the kingdom here yeah. um, with kingdom values. <clears throat> yes, yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for talking with us today. God bless. It's been an absolute pleasure. I look forward to connecting with both of you soon. Fantastic. Thank you, Hayley. We hope you enjoyed that conversation with Hayley. So just a few more things from me before we finish up. Please also pray for recruitment. We have a few roles that we're recruiting for. And as always, we pray, Lord of the Harvest, send the worker. Please pray that it's um, we can get these roles filled and that the right people will come forward to move these chaplaincies on. We'd also love you to pray for our council as they meet together for the overnight council meeting this month. Please pray that these conversations will flow and that it'll be a very fruitful um, meeting and that lots of good decisions can be made. And then also please pray for our chaplaincies as they prepare for Christmas and Advent season and all the people that that brings into the church and it'll be a really good time for outreach and fellowship together. Thank you so much for watching and we will hopefully see you again next time. <laughs>